In this tutorial, we will show you how to integrate a Modbus RTU device into a Bagnet network. To perform this integration, we are going to use the new Intesis Box, iBox, BAC, and BM gateway. As an example, we will have an air conditioning unit connected to Modbus by using the MEAC MBS1 gateway, and we will integrate the next registers into Bagnet. On off, mode, fan speed, vane position, set point temperature, room temperature, and error codes. So let's begin. First of all, we will open the Intesis Box map software. And then we will click on create new project. To see all the Bagnet templates available, we will click on the Bagnet logo. And then we will choose the template for the iBox, BAC, and BM gateway. Finally, we will click on next. On the connection tab, we'll have two connection options, IP and USB. In this demo, we are going to use the USB option. So we will click on USB port and we will choose the port available, on this case, COM3. On the right side will appear some useful information for our gateway, including, for example, its serial number. And then we will click on connect. So now we are connected and let's begin with the configuration by clicking on the configuration tab. In general settings, we will disable the DHCP option as we would like to use a fixed IP. So let's choose the IP and then we will also choose a password for this project and that will be demo. On the Bagnet server settings, we could change few options including some advanced configuration parameters. But in this case, we are not going to modify anything. So let's move to the Modbus settings. Here we have three Modbus connection options, RTU, TCP, or both at the same time. For example, here we could also add a new node if having any TCP device. But as the device we want to integrate is RTU, let's move to that one. Here, we will delete the devices we are not going to use. That's fine. And we will choose the name of our device. In our case, MEAC MBS1. Finally, we will change the slave number to one, which is the correct one for the device we are integrating. Fine. Let's move to the Signals tab now. The first thing to do here is remove the signals we are not going to use. So select them, and then let's remove them. Also, we will create nine new signals or registers that we will need for the setup. And now let's make sure that all of them are activated. Now, we are going to give the names of the signals we want to integrate. They will be on off status and on off command, mode status and mode command, fan speed status and fan speed command, bane position status and bane position command, set point status and set point command, room temperature, and finally error code. Now we have to choose the right magnet object type for each signal. Basically here we will choose multi-state input and multi-state output for the mode signals. Then all the status signals together with room temperature and error codes will be defined as analog input. And all the common signals will be defined as analog output. Now we will have to choose the right unit type for each signal. Basically here, we will choose no units for all the signals, except for the mode ones, that will have no units defined, and for all the set point and temperature signals, that we're going to choose Celsius unit type. On the Modbus side, we'll have to choose the correct read and write function for each signal. That's it. And once we are done with that, we will have to put the right register number for the signals we are integrating. 
and we will be finished with the signals configuration. Now let's click on the received and sent tab. And here we'll have to click on send in order to send all the configuration to our gateway. When the process is done, a message will appear. And that's it. While the gateway is rebooting, we can move to the diagnostics tab to check that all the setup we have done is working properly. To help us here, we will use an air conditioning simulator and we will see how values change on maps. For example, we will change the on off value to on and we will see this change on maps. Also, we will do the same with the mode value, changing it to heat and the value will change also on maps. We can also change the temperature, for example, and we will see this on maps too. Now let's use the Bagnet client software. We will find our device by checking the IP and also we will see the signals available. That's okay. Now we will subscribe to a couple of signals, for example, error code and set point. And we will use our AC simulator in order to change these values. First the set point and it changes on the Bagnet software and then we will simulate an AC error and also changes on the Bagnet software. So that's it. I hope you liked it and see you on the next tutorial.